How y'all doing today? Here we are with another episode of Low Life Club, Low Life Club Adventures. Today is another special episode. We will be reviewing Telfar, Telfar Global, by Telfar Clemens. Shall I wear these uh, clock glasses or my Zodi, Zodiac Fendi shades? I don't know. They're gonna just go back and forth with, between these two. Anyways, so Telfar Clemens, um, he is a black fashion designer. Um, he is from Queens, New York, I believe. Um, well, uh, yeah, he's from Queens. Um, uh, I know that Telfar blew up a lot, a lot recently um, in these last couple uh, weeks, months, especially during COVID. Um, people haven't been able to go outside. They've been doing a lot of online shopping. And um, he's blowing up a lot on Instagram for having some super, super fire pieces. And everybody's going crazy over his shopping bags. Um, it's a staple piece. Um, he's using his, um, his Telfar logo to um, just throw and slap it right on the bag. A lot of leather pieces, comes in an assortment of colors. And today, we'll be showing you guys and reviewing Telfar Clemens. So this is the popular bags that have been um, selling out in literally a minute on Instagram. I mean, I'm sorry, not on Instagram, but on his website when he releases. Just up until a few months ago, you were able to purchase this um, with no problem at all. Um, but um, as I always tell y'all, I tell y'all to get up on some shit, y'all don't listen. And now these shits, are very very affordable um, bags very great quality they go this is the medium shopping bag the small shopping bag goes for about 150 the medium goes for about 200 and the large goes for about 250 270 um, depending on what color and whatnot um, but these bags are going for um, a ton of money on Grailed on StockX on um, StockX, yes, it's posting these on their uh, platform now. And Telfar has been a hot commodity. A lot of people are very, very upset about the fact that how people are purchasing these bags and they are um, supposed to be something that's been uh, able to be used for the black community, black women, especially Telfar being a black man himself. Um, they're really upset about the fact that people are buying these, using these bots or whatever it is, and then reselling it for hundreds and hundreds of dollars, like just super market up the price. Um, me, to be honest, my own personal opinion, I don't care. If I was a designer myself, I also wouldn't care. You would want your piece to be as accessible as possible, but it's just what happens. You guys are supposed to be up on top of these things, and that's how you fall behind. You end up being a broke boy with no tell far like me. You know what I mean? Um, uh, uh, Telfar Clemens, I would say he started back in 2005 when he um, first founded Telfar while he was attending Pace University. Um, in 2017, he designed for 400 White Castle franchises and all the proceeds went to bail funds for teenagers that was imprisoned on um, Rikers Island. That same year, Telfar won um, the CDFA Vogue Fashion Fund Award, and which awarded him $400,000 in prize money, and which is actually what he was able to use to create and produce the very, very popular Telfar shopping bags. Um, so it's like a really, really dope story. Um, amazing, and it's crazy just to see how far he's come in that short amount of time. Um, since then, I know this year he had announced a partnership with The Gap that ended up being postponed um, in March of this year due to the coronavirus. So um, unfortunately, um, I'm not sure if that's something that we'll end up seeing from in the future. Um, uh, although we just seen Gap and um, Kai and West announce their partnership together, maybe we'll soon see something with um, Telfar Clemens and The Gap. Um, uh, like I said, Telfar is a, is a really, really dope brand. Um, I really just love the quality on these. Like I said, the, um, the small shopping bags are probably the most popular ones. I would say that probably also look the best, 
but these are just great bags alone. Um, I've heard some people say that their only complaints about the bag was it's not like a really a form fitting bag. Like when you lay it down, it doesn't really keep its shape. It kind of like falls. But um, what the benefits to that is, it's like a tote bag. So anything that you kind of throw in there, it'll take its shape, it'll fit in there. So you could fill this up with a ton of stuff. It's a, um, even this, like I said, this medium sized bag is, uh, has some, it's pretty deep. It has this um, short strap right here, so you could just hold it here, and then the long strap so you could wear it over you. Um, this is a unisex brand, so um, <laughs> I don't give a fuck what y'all say. You know what I mean? I'm fleeing my tail far back. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get, get me one, I'll get me a couple more probably. Uh, I wanna get one in black, but um, this right here actually, um, I actually purchased for someone else. So um, I'm actually waiting to get my own one. Uh, now, but um, so now you guys have to be stuck with suffering for um, trying to purchase the Telfar bags um, on the website when it's selling out and competing with the bots. So at this point, people are just feeling like it's going to be absolutely impossible for them to purchase a bag. Um, just recently, he just did another drop where he dropped the uh, Telfar belt, the Telfar, Telfar logo belt which like I really really wanted that like I'm not gonna lie like I wanted that bad as fuck you know a lot of people really wear the um you know what I mean the belts and you know me myself I am MCM man so you know <laughs> I needed I wanted to get that Telfar bag uh belt um uh Telfar hats I think they just dropped and um I believe that's it from this uh, drop they just did recently so um they're really up in their just their entire line their inventory and I'm really looking forward to seeing a whole lot more from Telfar. Uh, you can see a lot of the inspiration from people um, like uh, from Calvin Klein, Donna Karen, Polo Ralph Lauren, which he also ends up stating that uh, is people who he draws inspiration from, as well as Vivian Westwood, um, Jean Paul Gaultier, and uh, Yohi Yamamoto. So um, definitely looking forward to more from uh, Telfar. We'll be uh, checking in. Y'all tap in. Y'all let me know if y'all got a tell far, what y'all got, what size, what colors y'all got. You know what I mean? When you got it, if you got it before the hype, now the hype is going crazy because we seeing this trending and it was, it was just trending. When you just did the last release, it's trending and it's, it's taking over on Twitter. So, you know what I mean? Tap in, support um, a black fashion brand, young black man trying to make his way in the brand and uh, in fashion. And hopefully we'll see some more. So until then, Thanks for y'all tuning in. It's Low Life Club. Follow the Low Life Club. Subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Randon. Um, and tap in. Catch y'all later. Fendi Zodiac. Sunglasses here. I gotta put back on the cloud glasses. I'll get the drip too. <laughs> <laughs>